when students were at home, all of the education was being done remotely, um, then what happens is you see a lot of pressures developing at the time because every family was like a pressure cooker. There was everybody was living with each other at the time and, and sometimes even the adults were not going to work. And so that can have a lot of adverse consequences. Not, not all the time, but certainly it's stuff, it's, there, there are challenges that ultimately we've been learning how to adapt to them. Um, and certainly we're, as we're learning how the pandemic works, we're learning what do we need to do to mitigate it and then how do we also, while we're doing those things, how do we help high school students develop to an optimum level in a healthy way under those circumstances? That's the challenge. And you know what? We're doing it. It's happening. We're here, we've got our masks on, and we're in the classroom. Um, and by and large, when the first day of class, we asked the students, most of the students, if they wanted to be here, they said, by and large, yes, they were glad to be here. And I don't know any other time I've heard high school students talk about wanting to be in high school. <laughs> and so that was a really a good thing. Um, but it doesn't come without its challenges still. For example, we have a freshmen that are coming in that need to know people and get to learn and the system and know how to uh, develop a network of other friends that they that support them. But they're saying, you know, I don't. It's hard for me to get to know them because they got these masks over them, and and so it's another detriment. And one of the things that we're working on is how to develop activities and embed them in the curriculum so that it's done intentionally to compensate for that which the protocols take away from developing those kinds of relationships. Because that's such a key part to high school. Um, that's what developmentally teenagers are doing in high school is learning how to have deeper meaningful relationships with each other in preparation for adult life. I think we're all in this together, so it affects us all in stressful ways. And so the, the, the teachers, our administration, myself, we're not immune to it. Um, however, we are becoming much more resilient the more we are together as a staff group and we have supportive relationships with each other and we communicate with each other and we reach out for help when we need to and or offer help when we need to. Now that's the community here at the school and the stronger we are as a community, the more resilient we are and the more we can attend to our students' needs as well as our own.